Hello, welcome. Today our trading topic is confined space attendant. The confined space attendant is also called with other name, for example, standby man or hole watcher. These three persons are the same person, the same designation. In, in different places, he is called or uh, he is named um, the different one. For example, somewhere standby man, somewhere confined space attendant, somewhere hole watcher. Today, we will see who is the confined space attendant and what is his definition and what are the responsibilities of a confined space attendant. So this is, these are our learning outcomes. The first is the definition of confined space attendant as the name suggests the confined space attendant and the duties and responsibilities of confined space attendant. So the first element, the definition of confined space attendant. A person is stationed outside a confined space has a duty of watching the persons working inside the confined space during the time they are inside. He has to monitor the authorized entrance only stop the unauthorized person to enter the confined space and perform all duties assigned to him all attendants must have been trained to perform their duties this is a brief this is a brief uh, description about the confined space attendant a person who is trained on his skills on his duties who is assigned in the entry point of a confined space and he has some duties which he has to perform while he is working hours. So in the next slide we will see what are the duties of a confined space attendant. The very first of all ensure all personnel who enter confined space understand emergency evacuation procedure all the person who are going inside the confined space they understand the emergency evacuation procedure if anything goes wrong inside the confined space the entrance the confined space entrance must be aware and skilled and trained how to respond emergency how to evacuate from the confined space they must have a means for continuous communication and communicate with authorized entrants to continuously monitor the authorized entrants status and well-being the confined space attendant has to communicate with the person who is inside the confined space and he has to ensure that their status are they good are they safe um, um, about he has to ensure about their well uh, well-being and as well as to alert entrants of the need to evacuate the space if anything goes wrong in the emergency situation possible communication mediums for example voice radio and the hand signal hand signal is possible in a very limited place where the attendant the confined space attendant can see the persons inside the confined space the the most places the mostly places uh, the the radio is used for the communication and sometimes um, the confined space attendant uh, use the medium voice hello hello are you good are you good like that so these are the mediums which must be used um, to maintain the communication between the confined space attendant and the confined space entrants they must know the hazards that may be faced during the entry including the information on the, the mode of entry signs or symptoms and consequences of exposure he must continuously maintain an accu accurate count of the authorized entrants in the confined space the confined space attendant must remain outside the confined space during in entry operations until relieved by another authorized attendant the confined space attendant who has been assigned in a particular confined space um, location he uh, does not have to leave the place unless he is relieved by another uh, confined space attendant. 
and, and uh, one attendant is assigned for each confined space. At no time will one attendant watch over multiple confined space. It means there should be only there should be one confined space attendant who will be responsible for that particular confined space and one confined space attendant will not be uh, given the responsibility of more than one confined spaces. So one confined space, um, one confined space attendant is important. Confined space attendant has to maintain log sheet mentioning all entrants, ID number, entry time, exit time, and his initial. He shall have no responsibilities other than to continue continually watch those inside the confined space and observe their condition also and also be alert to any need for rescue or other assistance. He shall be in such a position as to physically observe the condition of every person inside the confined space. Ensure that alarm is raised in the event of emergency. He will hand over the entry record sheet to the rescue team on their arrival in case of emergency in the confined space. If anything goes wrong, if any emergency arises in, in the confined space, so that time when the, the confined space attendant will raise the emergency alarm, when the, then, then after when the rescue team will uh, reach to the location, the confined space attendant will uh, hand over the uh, lock sheet to the rescue team and according to that lock sheet, the rescue team will have knowledge how many persons inside and uh, they will start their rescue <clears throat> and it will the record will also, also uh, indicate and show the total number of the entrants so according to that they will rescue all the persons inside the confined space standby man shall not enter the confined space at any time unless he is trained in such a in, in search and rescue um, operation so this was uh, some important information uh, related to the duties of a confined space attendant. I hope uh, this will be beneficial for, for you. Thank you for watching my video. And please uh, subscribe my channel and share my videos with your friends and with your groups. Thank you very much.